Yeah, boy, we're back. Let's go. People, what is popping? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, today we are going to pick up something sick. I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not even going to moan about where I've been or anything like. All you know is I've been on holiday. I'm fucking hench. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just feeling a bit better about myself. So I've had some time off. Just I felt like my head was going mad, and I just thought if I'm doing something, let's video it. If we're not, chill the fuck out. Um, so this is part of a. So I'm not going to talk about it. Like it's a business. It's a plan. I just want to do this because I enjoy it. And then when a video arrives, you get in a video. So today we're going to pick up some new shoes. You already know anyway. Um, but I basically bought this car because the way the wheels were, I absolutely love the car. Like the way the fitment and I was like, man, I think that pretty much sold me the car. So James, if you're watching, honestly, when I was looking at DC5s, the stock wheels with the stock suspension look a bit naff, to be honest with you. Um, but these wheels and that sold me the car. But thing I've noticed after being in the Japan kind of era with the JDM shit, every man and his dog either has Enki ripoffs or Enkis, and I'm just like, hmm, you know me, I don't really want to be like everyone else. I want to do something a little bit different. So some we wheels have popped up, yeah, and it's like one of them moments where if I miss it, it ain't happening like. So I've told the missus I'm gonna take out a bit of cash. I'm going to have to buy these wheels. I'm going to take my tyres off. I don't think the fitment's going to be the best for the tyres. Um, but we're going to take the tyres off, put the tyres on the new wheels. Um, and then we're going to sell the Enkies. They're genuine Enkies, 17 by 9 and 17 by 7.5. So they've got a big front rake and a smaller rear. Um, so if anyone's interested. Um, but they are ET45. And I'll have to link it down below if anyone's interested. Um, but they will be for sale um, shortly. It looks amazing. Like, honestly, the DC5s I've been looking at, wheel-wise, apart from the potential wheels we're getting today, I haven't saw any that look any better. Apart from the Advans, I think it's the Advans. There's two sets of Advans. A lot. The RGs and the RS2, I believe. Um, filthy wheels, but they're very, very expensive. So these are to not be missed. And that's the reason why I've said, yo, babe, I've got to get these wheels. Because if I don't, it's not happening. Because... Um, uh, Tegu one want like two grand, 2,200 quid, um, whereas these are a steal and they're brand new. So yeah, go to pick up James and then we go into on a mission, a uh, Honda specialist breaker. Um, so yeah, we'll bring you along so you can see them. And uh, yeah, smash a like, like, share, subscribe, all that shit. And I'll see you in a minute. Whoosh. This is your fault, you know. Yeah. This is your fault. <laughs> Oi, the reason we're getting these is because he's saying I'm, I won't do what I say. <laughs> Take me to the place then. This is your fault, this is. Laura moans at me, it's your fault. <laughs> Let's go into. This is like Aladdin's dungeon for a car person, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can't even show you. Oh, we can. We'd have to open the rest of them up. Yeah, that's the wheel there, but we'll show you when they're on. <laughs> but, yeah. If you don't know, you need to know. Do you see the sizes on them? Uh, no, I don't. They are. 8J, 17 by 8, ET, what ET were they again? 38. 38, that's like the perfect fitment for yeah. DC boys, isn't it? So yeah, we had to do it properly, didn't we? You know that. So let's go, let's get them in. Oh my god. 
Well, he don't mind doing that. What? Both cars or what? Well, that's just a farm truck. Who is it? You don't go on the road. Go on, son. All about realism here on this channel. How to move a car, get another car and push it. <laughs> So the tyres were fitted um, and honestly it's such a big difference to the car. The car even feels different as well which is so weird. Like I don't know why when the tracking's the same. I don't know if it's because the fronts are now 8J rather than 9. I have no idea um, but we have 30 PSI in all round um, and it looks unbelievable like so without chatting shit let's get straight to what you actually want to see. Let's see what the wheels look like on the car so let's go. absolutely unbelievable life. yo check it out probably the best colour I, I think I've gone off black now so it's like in between it's a black and a silver it's like a titanium colour so sometimes when you look at the wheel it looks black sometimes it looks silver like honestly it is perfection um, so we have got uh, 17 by 8 all round so 17 by 8 17 by 8 ET 38 which I believe is supposed to be the perfect setup for a, a teg um, the camber is still around 3.4 degrees, so we have got we have got a bit of poke in there. But yeah, it sits in a lot better. And even the rears are a lot better. Sorry about that. Um, literally, I had to help someone out. The exhaust had fallen off the car, and they asked if I knew about cars. So I was like, oh, I'll give you a hand. If you can help someone and you feel like you can do it. Make sure you do it because do you know what I mean people are stuck in that just a good little gesture good deed of the day so yeah um, I've moved place now so um, this is what we're at so these are the wheels boy look how unbelievable they look man they they change the game I can't believe how much I love them like literally unbelievable so yeah perfect fitment 17 by 8 um, the camber seems to be quite nice now you know like it seems to sit a lot better in the wheel arch um, I was thinking about getting uh, wider wings because obviously the 79 9s were a lot wider so that's had to quite aggressive camber but on the rear they fill the arch a lot a lot more the only thing is I feel like it's going to start rubbing on this little lip here um because it's literally like quite flush with it now so definitely got it out a bit more now but now I'm worried about this because I don't want to damage the paint um so yeah but look look at the fitment boy it fits so nice I feel like I need to drop the rear arts Drop the arse down a little bit, just a touch. I feel like the back end's just a tad too high now. Um, so yeah, yeah, man. What do you think? Comment down below, please. Let me know your thoughts on the new wheels. I did love the Enkies, but yeah, these are dream wheels, and they come up, and it was like I've got to get them. So yeah, I think we need we need a bit more aggression now because it's just the front bumper and the wheels. We need some side skirts, rear valance, bonnet, all that kind of jazz. So yeah, man. Let me know what you think, man. I'm like. I absolutely love them, they're so sick. Shout out to On A Mission as well, um, they posted them up on the Facebook forums, if you're on Honda forums, Integra forums, DC5 forums, EP3 forums, FN2, all that kind of stuff, you all know them, they are like a ma major UK breaker of cars and they have so many parts, you literally go bankrupt. Um, so yeah, they posted them the other day like, yo, we got a set for sale. Literally, I couldn't snooze, um, I had a look on 
brand new from uh, a dealer and they were coming out at like 520 pound a wheel so these come up at like 1450 quid so obviously I snap these up then i'm gonna sell the enkies so really it's not going to cost me much more a couple hundred quid more hopefully um depending on how much you get for the enkies but yeah they sell so many bits they break turbo cars supercharged cars so yeah definitely check them out um i'll try and link them down below if i can but yeah hope you enjoyed this video it's a short snappy one just wanted to get straight to the point get it done um and get back into it really because i've been away for a bit i'm not gonna say i'm back and i'm gonna fucking post loads of videos because i'm just trying to enjoy life you know what i mean i feel like this takes over too much and sometimes i'm just thinking about what's next what's next and i just can't be asked anymore to be honest um i just want to do it for the enjoyment rather than the pressure that it puts on my head so even though you don't think it but when you're trying to plan out one video a week for 52 weeks in your head you like i'm letting myself down here so i don't want to get to that i just want to if something happens we video in it if we're not so keep the notifications on because when i do post um i'll be doing the videos but i'm not going to say we're posting every week because i might not but who knows um i just don't want to put that added pressure on myself because i feel like i was just losing my head so yeah hope you have a good one guys i um, hope you enjoyed it um check out instagram just being hayden post a lot of updates on there but yeah if anything happens um you'll see it so yeah hopefully this is the start of the turbo build but we'll see how we go so peace